आई एम वेरी सॉरी आपने शुक्र है बता दिया वो पिछले तो खैर रिकॉर्ड हुए ये वाला शायद मैं कर, करना भूल गया सो आई वॉज जस्ट सेंग दैट वी आर जस्ट काउंटिंग एनी इवेंट ठीक है एंड दैट विल बी कॉल्ड अ काउंटिंग प्रोसेस प्रोवाइडेड नंबर वन एन ऑफ टी इज ग्रेटर दैन जीरो योर एट एनी टाइम टी ग्रेटर दैन जीरो ठीक है uh your nt is either zero or it is 1 2 3 whatever nt is integer value or it number of goals child born or whatever and for s less than t n of s is be less than yes but if your if one time is less than the other time then the count at the smaller time will be less than or equal to the time uh, to the count at the larger time and for again for s less than t the count at greater time minus the count at uh, smaller time will be equal to the number of events that have occurred in this interval st acha ye do you remember this close bracket and this uh, this large bracket and this open bracket do you remember this thing yes sir open and closed intervals ha ah, open and closed interval What is the meaning of this? Uh, sir, इसमें ये भी होता है कि हमारी जो first value है वो इसके बराबर हो सकती है और last value exactly t से कम होगी वो t नहीं हो सकती। t को मत इतना छेड़ ना यहाँ पे n of t और n of s को देखें ना। अच्छा आप किसे interval की बात करना चाह रहे हैं? Yes sir। हाँ एक तरफ open है ना? जी sir। और इस साइड पे क्लोज है ओके? सो यस एट वन एट एस इट कैन इंक्लूड एस पर इट विल नॉट बी इंक्लूडिंग टी राइट यस सर एनी क्वेश्चन All right, let's go further. Acha. Uh, acha. Now let us uh, uh, talk about your, you know, you were saying independent increments. So, a counting process is said to possess uh, independent increments uh, if the number of events that occur in disjoint time intervals are independent. So this is not true for every counting process, but for some counting process, this might be true. So the what he is saying, that let us say I take one interval, S T, and I take another interval, let us say, which is uh, just for say A B, or let us say A F. All right. So uh, number of events that have So this is six twenty six, thirty six, forty six. All right. So we have time. All right. So I will take uh, you know a twenty minutes break. So today, sir, let's go quickly. So itna kar lete hain. Then after that, we will take a twenty minutes break. Then we can just come and finish this as much as we can cover. So uh, independent increments is that number of events that occur by time ten is independent of the number of events that occur between ten and fifteen. So you have two disjoint intervals. One goes from zero to ten, and the other goes from ten to fifteen. So the number of events between them is independent. Then, that, if it is, uh, if it is true, then you can say that that counting process has independent increments. But it is not necessary. All right, it is not necessary that every counting is counting process has independent increments, but. there might be some processes where you have independent increments all right i will end the lecture at this point and inshallah i will start the lecture at 6:30 6:47 inshallah or let us say 2 3 minutes before isko main end karunga the next meeting bhi main main khasa directly start kar diye koi aisa koi zarurat to nahi hogi uski i am